Hi there, and welcome to this short introduction of our recent developed video looper. We wanted to sequence bits and pieces of a longer VHS capture for a video clip and let the playback be synced with the audio. We decided to develop a so-called video looper for easily selecting, recording, trimming and sequencing video files. So we didn't need to import a bunch of movie file in tops and trim every single one by hand. In this video, I'll give you a brief introduction how this works. I'm going to play the timeline. It's in a top shape, so just pick it, drag it, release it. Make sure the viewer is active by pressing this plus sign. It already loaded one from the past, so I'll press this file button, select a video clip. Make sure you press load first because it resets certain parameters. You can trim out a section you'd like. Just works like the regular slider. If you press with the left mouse button, you can move your handles left and right. I've added Second function, right mouse button and drag will move the entire selection. So let's pick a small section. It's quite a long clip, so it seems like this indicator isn't moving, but it is. If you trimmed out a section, you hit this plus button, it will grey out, it switches off real-time mode, so it makes sure it doesn't skip any frames. So it lights up again, here's your thumbnail, and if you press this one tap, here's your recorded video clip. And tweak it with this slider, change the speed, faster, slower, you can reset your speed with this button, play it backwards, Play it in a ping pong kind of way with this button. Go to your main section again. This is a thumbnail of your recorded video loop. It corresponds with this tab over here. So let's see, pick another section. This might be fun. Hit the plus again, it starts recording. So there it's finished. Second one. Let's pick out something fun. This one. Okay. I'm going to load in a different movie file. So let's pick one. Let's load first. So make sure you're in your main window. So these are all the recorded loops. Pick something interesting. This one will be fine. Hit the plus. It freezes for a moment. There it is again. So here's your new thumbnail. I have 
and programmed a snapping section, snapping element. So it's moving freely, but with these thumbnails you can rearrange the order of the sequence. We'll show you that in a second. So third tab, perhaps a bit faster. Okay, maybe backwards. Let's see, hold your right mouse button to drag the entire selection. Plus again. Let's see, maybe a little bit faster. Okay. So now we've recorded four loops. First one, second one, third one, fourth. These tabs are corresponding with these thumbnails. So if I move this one over here, this will be the fourth. This will be the first. Then I'll always clear one over here. We have a trigger input section over here. This is probably a nice opportunity to demonstrate our beat counter as well. It's also in a talk shape, available at our Patreon. One hundred and twenty BPM by default. It's corresponding with this dialogue beat section this is your master bpm so if i'm tapping along so this is our recorded bpm it's still running at 120 and if i press sync Changes. I have to arrange a couple of triggers. Oh, this is just on the f on the first beat, second, fourth, eighth. Just pick one you like. This video looper has an input. So if I select let's say the first, so we're just counting along with the BPM. Make sure you start at one. Because this input doesn't recognize zero. We can fix that by this pre-add one. So it goes from one to four and set from zero to three. Plug it in. Let's see. Press on, and if I attach a null over here, see that this sequencing, sequencing along with the beat. I rearrange it, make it active.
and you can tweak everything in real time this one is continuously following along with the input switch it off now it's corresponding with the highlighted tabs let's pick another one second switch it to on and you see that this input is triggering these different clips and that's basically it and clear them separately by pressing this button over here go to your main section again this is giving an error because this one is going from 1 to 4 and it's missing one so we'll just record a different clip like I mentioned this thumbnail snapping section isn't working properly yet but Hey, it's in a beta state. Let's pick the first one again. Change the order. And this beat counter it's quite speaks for itself. It's just tapping. You can clear your calculated beats. You can change it manually just by typing it in. And if you press sync, it will adapt this main tempo if you feel like this sequence is slightly getting off the audio file you can press sync how much you like and that's basically it Hope you will enjoy this video looper. It's for our loyal patrons just before Christmas. Please like and subscribe. Always free for suggestions, complaints, bugs. Feel free to get in touch and we'll catch up next time.